Hello, this is Martin, KI4CFS, and I want to talk about what is a dummy load. A very valuable tool for ham operators. Often you can borrow one from a club and don't need to buy it, but the key thing is we want to test out our transceiver. We want to be able to cue the mic up, and it's really not good to cue it up with nothing connected. And it could actually, if it's connected to something that has a high SWR, which means reflected power, it could damage our radio. So how do we do that? A dummy load. And how is that hooked up? We connect it up with a cable, generally a brand new high quality low loss cable that's short. And then we could connect it up to our transceiver and be able to at least test it out putting something out where the transceiver looks out and goes, oh, that looks like a perfect antenna because I see a nice 50 ohms and it is a low SWR. So it doesn't strain the radio, very important piece. Now this dummy load is 50 ohms from one to 500 megahertz. One to 500 megahertz, a very good one because I can use it on HF, 2 meter, 440, the whole bands, and test out my system. I want to give a quick example of how I've used it. I noticed, getting back into ham radio, that I have an SWR meter in line with my 2 meter, 440, and it had a high SWR which isn't really good. So I had it on low power and I realized I need to solve this problem. Well, Alan, one of the local hams said, you need to get your dummy load out and start breaking down all the pathways from the radio out and find out where the SWR goes up. So first I connected the cable directly to this, made sure everything seemed to work okay, looks okay. Then I put it with new cables tested out from the radio to the SWR meter into this and it was a low SWR. Then I had a little piece of wood going through the window and then what I did is I uh, connected it to the dummy load through the SWR meter and the transceiver and it was still low SWR. Then while I was doing that, I connected a wire from the other side to the dummy load, kind of sitting in from the window, and the SWR went up. I examined the connections and noticed some oxidation on the connector. So I cleaned that up real well, connected everything up again, and then found the SWR went down, it looked safe, then followed the pathway out, and it was all good. That's just an example of using one. Highly recommend it, a great tool for troubleshooting in amateur radio. This is Martin Brossman, KI4CFS Clear.